Good Thursday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Low pressures working across the Alaska Peninsula today with a south and westerly flow pushing ample moisture up into the central and northern parts of southeastern Alaska. And that's where we'll find some more steady rainfall throughout the next several days there. It doesn't look like there'll be a tremendous risk for flooding. However, it will be a much wetter period than you've seen for uh, the last several days. High pressure sitting across south central Alaska. It's allowing a few areas of rain to form around Prince William Sound on the Kenai Peninsula and Kodiak Island, but the bulk of the wet weather is certainly further eastward. A look up north shows colder air is also approaching the northwestern coast and the Chukchi Sea coast with that rainfall and fog a little more prevalent across the north slope today and spreading eastward through the Beaufort Sea. A stronger southwesterly flow is working across the Seward Peninsula, St. Lawrence Island and eastward, and with that any southwest facing coasts are uh, looking at a little bit of a stronger or higher surf. No advisories, watches, or warnings posted for any part of Alaska or the North Slope today. Looking at tonight, periods of rain and fog will be likely across most of the western part of the Seward Peninsula, Kotzebue Sound, and Chukchi and Beaufort Sea Coast. High pressure will drop in behind the frontal boundary, which will linger over the Brooks Range. That could bring a better focus for rainfall and some of that heavy at times across the mountains of the western and central range. And that means the Kobuk and Noatak Valleys will be in prime position to see higher than normal stream rates there. Uh, that means that uh, tra trails and roads in your area could be flooded or just see some higher than normal water. Make sure you remember your rules. Don't uh, run across uh, flooded roadways. Turn around, don't drown. Remember, it doesn't take a whole lot of water to float you and your vehicle away. Friday's forecast continues rainfall opportunities for north and western Alaska, including places like Nome, Kotzebue, Kivalina, and all the way up through Red Dog Mine and northward into Barrow, where rain and fog will continue there. Cold enough air is coming in behind this weather system that there might be some uh, higher terrain rain and snow mixing there in the western parts of the Brooks Range. A look further southward shows no such sign of winter with periods of rainfall across the central and uh, middle Yukon Valley southward toward the upper Kuskokwim and Bristol Bay. Several waves of rainfall will be working across the southern Bering Sea and the Aleutians as we head into the weekend. Right now it looks like most of south central and Kodiak Islands start off dry for Saturday with continued chances for rain showers over most of the panhandle for Saturday. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.